Hi, this is Grandma Lori. Today's story is The Great Race. I could win, said Sonny the Sloth. I could definitely beat you in a race. Never, Terry the Turtle said. I beat you the last two times. What makes you think you can win this time? Sonny was talking to his best friend, Terry. They loved to race against each other. Now, turtles and sloths are the slowest animals in the jungle, so racing is a bit of a stretch. The last race took two days to finish, even though it was just a short distance for most animals. Sonny said, let's put that to the test. I'll race you to the clearing over there. First one there gets extra dessert. You got it. I know you're going to lose, tree boy. They both laughed at that. Sloths lived in trees while turtles lived on the ground. Let's do it the day after tomorrow. We can get all of our friends to cheer us on, said Sonny. Terry laughed. It'll also give me some extra time to build up some speed. With that, Terry and Sonny bid each other goodbye and went to their homes. The day the race arrived, Terry had his best running shoes on. He definitely wanted that extra dessert. Sonny built his speed by sleeping extra, hanging upside down from his favorite tree. The clearing was filled with all their friends. There was a lot of cheering and laughing as the Panthers bet the rest of the crowd that the race wouldn't end until the next day. On your mark, get set, said Gus the big gorilla. Terry and Sonny got into position to start the race. Terry was running on the ground while Sonny would go from tree to tree. Go! The crowd went wild as Sonny and Terry took their first steps. It took a few minutes for their next steps to come. The crowd kept encouraging the racers and laughing. Half an hour after the race started, the pair had reached the first tree. Patty the Panther said, I'll collect my winnings now if you don't mind. This race isn't going to end until tomorrow if it ends at all. The other animals started throwing leaves and popcorn at Patty. Hey, cut that out. I'm just stating a fact, Patty yelled. Meanwhile, Terry and Sonny were moving at lightning speed, for them, teasing each other along the way. I've got this, Shelly, said Sonny. You can't beat me this time. Terry looked up and said, Look, don't call me Shelly. I hate that tree boy. I know, Sonny said with a laugh. That's why I said it. They took their next steps. They had only gotten a short distance in over an hour. Gus was already making his way down to the finish line by the time the pair had taken their third and fourth steps. This is going to take all day, he said to the others. I'm going to go take a nap and come back later. I'm sure I won't miss a thing. The rest of the animals agreed and left to return later in the day. Meanwhile, the teasing continued between Terry and Sonny. They were both getting tired, though, so they agreed to take a bit of a nap before going further. They weren't even halfway to the finish line. It started raining, so Terry looked up at Sonny and said, Why don't you come down here and get under my shell? It'll keep you dry. Thanks, said Sonny. I'm getting cold. The rest of their friends had left as the first raindrops fell. The jungle was quiet, except for the sound of Terry snoring. Sonny tucked under his front legs. A few hours went by. The rain cleared. Sonny woke up first. Terry, Terry, it's time to get up. We need to finish the race, he said. Terry woke up slowly, because he did everything slowly. Within just a few minutes, though, the pair was ready to start again. None of their friends came back that day. Night came, and the pair still hadn't gotten to the finish line, so they curled up together again, Sonny sleeping with Terry. Morning dawned. Patty the Panther walked into the clearing and saw Sonny and Terry sleeping almost to the clearing. I knew it, he said. Today is going to be a good day for me. As dawn turned to morning, more of the friends came back into the clearing. The noise woke Sonny and Terry. They ate a bit of breakfast before they got going. Are you guys ready to finish today? Asked Gus the gorilla as he got into position to start the race again. He was annoyed that he was having to do this again. I have somewhere to be later today. Terry said, absolutely. I've got my energy back. I'm going to put an end to this race once and for all. No way, Shelly, laughed Sonny. Terry looked at him with a side eye and got into position. Ready, set, go! It took the rest of the day for Sonny and Terry to reach the clearing. As they got closer, they got a little bit of speed for them. Their friends started clapping and cheering again. It was neck and neck right down to the finish line. Terry would be ahead, then Sonny would go a bit faster. They were tired though. They had no energy to tease each other. There it was, the finish line! Both Terry and Sonny sped up a little bit. 
It got closer and closer. It was after lunchtime when Gus said, The winner! The race was over. Who won? Dr. Owl sitting in the tree said, I can tell you who. It was a photo finish. The animals all started yelling, Who was it? Who won? Quiet down and I'll tell you, Dr. Owl said patiently. It was a tie. There was no clear winner, Dr. Owl said. Everyone looked at each other. It was quiet for a minute while they took in the results. Then laughter broke out. Of course it was a tie. That's how these races always ended. The friends gathered around Terry and Sonny, giving them water and a snack. They congratulated the pair on a good race. Then everyone left for the party the parents had put together. I beat you fair and square, Sonny said confidently. Forget it, tree boy. I clearly won, replied Terry. The pair continued their teasing as they made their way to the party. They arrived the next day and took advantage of all the leftovers. They were tired from three days of racing. Next time, Shelly, I'll beat you by a mile, was all Sonny could say as he fell asleep in his favorite tree. This has been Grandma Lori. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you.